Hey everybody, it's Average Joe. Today I'm going to show you how to replace a taillight bulb in a 2014 Chevy Silverado. Uh, things that you'll need. A T15 Torx bit. Driver. Light bulbs. And a pair of gloves. These bulbs get really hot, so you really don't want to get your oils from your hands on them. Because eventually they'll heat up and it'll basically fry the glass and blow them up. You don't want that to happen. Alright, first you take these Torx bits out, Torx screws. Okay, now this is straight from the manual. Remove the two rear lamp assembly screws and pull rearward until disengaging the two outer pins on the tail lamp assembly from the vehicle. Right there. So, if you don't like listening to me, you can go to the manual. But, I'm showing you how to do it, so why bother going to the manual? It's right here. There goes one pin. There they go, here they come. Okay, so now that I've got it loose, I can access the tail light. Another bit of verbiage from the manual, turn the bulb socket counterclockwise to remove it from the tail lamp assembly. Counterclockwise. Pull the bulb straight out from the socket, just like that. Now. Time to put gloves on. Like I said before, we don't want to get our oils on the bulbs. Now, if you didn't see it before, this is a 7443 light bulb from Sylvania. Okay. So now, you just do reverse what you just did. Instead of counterclockwise, you go clockwise. Okay, so one thing I did notice on this pin here, the one side looks like it kind of broke off. And I'll show you that right here is that one. It broke off of that side. This one's got both of them, so I think I'm so I think I'm just gonna leave that for now, put it back in, and uh, order the part. Uh, I just wanted to get a quick view of inside of here to show you where those pins go, and that's where the screw holes are, right here and here. And that's a better view of it. So, now I'm just going to line those up, push it back in, put the screws in, and call it good. Put them in their holes. Push them in. Like I said before, you can go by the factory setting and just mark your screws or fine tune it yourself, either way. If you have any other questions, you can leave a comment below or hit me up on Twitter at the real average J. All right, thanks for watching. Now that makes me really happy.